Unfortunately, more fucking cars. <clears throat> Grand Prix. New game. My name is... Atroz. Your team is... Here is E. Qualify at least twice. Complete at least once. Races left four. Brazil. She looks so weird. Best time, 109.20. Length, lap four dry. 9.391. I love the date. 9.391. Oh boy. Yep, unfortunately more cars, and then after this we get to do some boxing. Which, uh, fighting games, lesson games, something like that, you never know what you're going to get, so it's always... Oh, I couldn't see shit, dude. Yeah, I know, right? Makes me wonder if like there's just that many or if I'm just hitting like all the racing games really early on. I have a feeling there's just that many racing games. <laughs> I just looked at the one out of one. How do I pit? It shows pit to the right. I wanted to pit there. Did I just drive into the fucking abyss? 
while the pit marker's up. I mean, it's one more lap, so it's no big deal, but... I was actually watching a little bit of uh, Sharpie plays before I started streaming. I don't understand how he's like 7,000 hours into his challenge and he was playing a Sonic game. I'm like, how is that even possible? You still have Sonic available. Laps. That's one thing I hate about uh, these type of racing games, because I had one before it was like this too, where you had to qualify, and it was a bunch of laps, and then the race was even more laps. I remember I accidentally reset the game, and then I changed the settings to... Uh, because you could only change the amount of race laps. So I put the race laps down to one. It was NASCAR game. It was like Days of Thunder. That's what it was. Because you couldn't change having to do the qualifier, how many laps for the qualifier. But you could change how many race laps you could do. So I would do like three race laps, or three qualifying laps, and then one race lap. I'm second out of 16th. That's better than first out of first. Oh, where'd that fucking guy just come from? Dude, my car's slow as shit. These guys are just... Hey, look at this. This is... Yep, just blown right past me. Well, I'm not going to get first, man. I'm driving well, but it doesn't matter if I... These guys are just blown right past me. Apparently whatever settings I have on my uh, vehicle shit because... I say that but then I just catch up and pass two of them. Now I'm in first. What the hell? What is this, like initial D? My car loses on the straightaways, but destroys on the fucking straight, or on the turns. Ooh, that was a 117 lap.
A109 lab. That's what I was aiming for. Is that a vehicle I see? Or am I just seeing shit? I think I'm seeing shit. Oh, horse shit. <coughs> I should have slid right past him. Ah, oh, I gotta itch my eye. Game. Oh, fuck you.
I hate those like little bumps right there because the game just looks really laggy. Just like everything you see, just it just looks awful. This game's gonna take fucking forever, dude. Four laces, uh, four ra laps for the qualifier, then uh, eight race per the eight laps for the race. One race is gonna take about 20 minutes. I have no problem with like racing games taking a while. It's just <sighs> there's a challenge. It's okay, but I'm pretty sure I fucking lapped everybody once already. can't see. Thank you. I knew I was coming up on a car and I couldn't fucking see anything so I thought I was just gonna run right into his ass. Can't see, can't see. Okay. Again, I was going up one of those hills and there's a car in front of me. Alright, last lap. You know what I think really ruined racing games for me is um, Mario Kart. Because Mario Kart, you have to be able to drive well while also shooting people with shit. You're having fun? That's good. Whatever you're doing, I'm glad you're having fun.
so laggy when you start going up these hills, man. But apparently I passed a car right there. Shit. Oh, barely avoided him. Started taking that turn, then I saw him how to go around him. And finish. 108.53! I assume you're doing something else, yes. Goal in. That's a weird way to phrase that. Ranking first. No, 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 go back up there. No, 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 no. Go back up there. I'm calling bullshit on these times. There's a guy right behind me who's, according to this, like one second behind or some shit. Look at that, look at that. No. No, 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 uh-uh, no. Nobody was even near me. I'm pretty sure I lapped everybody at least once. Bullshit on these times. Three more races. America. That's something I really should be doing is paying attention to the conditions and changing my vehicle accordingly. But yeah. I have no idea what any of that stuff means though, like oh shit. Like soft, hard, medium tires. Then you got dry and wet. Oh man. All I know is I'm not making these turns very well at all. Oh, oh. Well, whatever tire fucking formation I have is not working. This American track sucks ass. I definitely need to change my tires because there's no fucking way. Bad thing is I can't really pit and change my tires because I have no idea what the conditions are. I don't think the pit allows me to change anyway. I think it just I can repair. Actually, no, I think I can. Yeah, I think I can adjust the settings. I knew you were doing something else. What are you drawing? Ooh, not good, not good. Back on the road. We just need to finish. We just that's all it is. We just need to finish so we can go into the next race. And just get some points. I know I can do better than this, I just said I don't think my vehicle's set up for it. Anime boys? Why are you drawing anime boys? Just like generic anime boys or is like actual characters? I love that fucking like noise it does. There's a pit. Oh, for the love of Christ. Settings. Tire. See, I don't know, like... Slick. Rain. Is it wet? And that's why I'm sliding all over the place? Grip power, durability. I'm just gonna go medium, so I've got both. Alright, we 
can go with that. I love that I can just sit in the pit forever, just changing settings. It's like, eh, yeah, whatever. So this looks dry to me, but... Nope. Turn it a little bit better. Might have to put on the fucking uh, tires with shit durability, but excellent gripping. Just suck because that would pretty much be like one lap and they'll be dead. This fucking track sucks. What characters do you draw? And I probably wouldn't know though because uh, I think I haven't watched anime in a while. But on top of that, I think like the only mangas I seem to read are rom coms and uh, Shonen Jump stuff. So unless it's like any of those, I'm pretty much yeah, I wouldn't know. Dude, I'm having so much trouble with this track. Even this, like I'm only going like 100 miles per hour around that corner and still can't make it. Ugh. Yep, NQ figured. Fucking hell. Alright. Dry. Putting everything at fucking BB. Screw it. It's before we had that. Max speed, so we're gonna go up in speed. Gearbox. Max speed. Ooh, I can actually do manual for max speed. Fuck that, I, I'm an idiot. Can you write up a shoujo recommendation list? Uh, I actually have no idea. I'd actually have to, I'd have to, okay. Um, game? Oh, apparently it's on manual, but I selected the automatic one. What the shit? Well, this is gonna be fun. I selected automatic, but I'm on manual. I actually don't have a list of all my manga myself, so I'd actually have to go through and uh, find what manga I've read, and which ones are shoujo and which ones aren't.
I was actually talking to, uh, last time my brother was home, I was talking to him and his wife about uh, me reading shoujo manga. And my brother just looked at me all weird. He's like, what? I was like, dude, it's fucking amazing. I don't know why. I, I, I'm a horrible person. I have no desire to be in a relationship. I hate people. But I am very, very into uh, rom-coms. Like, not just manga either. I love uh, rom-com movies. Some of my favorite movies are rom-com movies. So. Oh, I know it doesn't make me a bad person. I just... I think uh, just most people that know who I am, I think they'd be surprised to know that I'm into rom-coms and shit. And it kills me too, cause like it's a, uh, it's a very common thing you see and hear in movies where people talk about how their woman always wants to go see uh, romantic comedies and stuff like that, and how much they hate them. It's like, dude, I don't understand that. I love them. They're amazing. Oof, Toradora. I hate Toradora. It was okay. I just really, really hated the ending. I enjoyed it for uh, most of it, but then like the ending I just thought was dumb. I fucking turn every time! Yeah, the characters are good. I mean, like I said, it's not a bad manga at all. Fuck! I wanted to pit, and it was right on that turn, and I... Oh. The characters are good. I mean, I think most of the manga is good. I just really, really dislike the ending. Dude, I keep downshifting on accident. I hate the fact that, uh, you know, you got left and right to steer, but then you got up down to change gears. So I keep fucking changing gears on accident. Dude, I'm gonna get a not- I did not qualify again. Yeah, I only know the anime as well. Because I only got into reading manga a couple years ago. Actually, I guess it's been a little, a little bit longer than that. But once I got into reading manga, I pretty much stopped watching anime. And it's funny too, because like one of the main reasons I stopped watching anime and just stuck with reading manga is because of One Piece. Because there's... Uh, there's a scene, I still remember it to this day, it pissed me off, um, but something happened, and, like, it made, like, a noise, and then it flipped to a character, and it showed their reaction, like, just a still of their face, and then it made the noise again, and flipped to another character, then made, they made the noise again, then flipped to another character, and they made the noise again, and flipped to another character, so, I mean, it took, like, five fucking minutes of just sitting there, just panning, or, like, changing to a different character, and just their shocked expression. And in the manga, it's like, okay, flip, 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 done. You'd be done with it. You know what I mean? So it's just, there's just a lot of filler per, ep like, just in the episodes themselves. I say this was actually during the Dress Rosa shit, which I thought was way too long. That was actually like, holy shit, I got first? What? I got first? 
What? <laughs> okay, look at my time, look at their time, and I drove like shit, and I got first. Wow. Okay, we need to change that gearbox, though. That's what I'm thinking. These guys suck. Oh, it's semi-auto. Whatever the fuck that is. What would be the difference between... I assume that's semi-automatic. What would be the difference between semi-automatic and manual? Because, I mean, if I'm having to shift gears anyway, I might as well fucking go manual, right? I think I'm just gonna go automatic, honestly, because... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go automatic. It's pain in the ass, because like, as I'm trying to turn, I keep downshifting and shit. No, they, uh... Like... Uh... Yeah, Natalia, I'd honestly, like, I'd have to, like, try to find my own manga, because I, I use, I have um, my anime list, but I only kept anime on it. And, uh, I don't actually, I've never kept track of my manga, so... I will actually be going through manga to read sometimes, and I'll read the description, like, oh, that sounds really cool. And then, like, I'll download it and start reading it, and be like, oh, I've read this. So, there's a lot of the times where I come across manga that I've already read. Ooh, automatic is slow as shit. I'm doing 295, I think the last one was at 315 or something. I do too, but um, if it has like a Japanese name, I won't remember it. So if I come across an anime and it's, you know, it's some, just, oh, you bastard. I couldn't fucking see him. So it's like a Romanji uh, Japanese name. I'll look at it. I'll read the description. I'm like, it might, it might sound familiar to me sometimes, or sometimes it just doesn't. I'm like, eh. And then I'll start like, I'll, right as I download it and like look at the very first page, I recognize it immediately. Oh, I've read this. And I just... You know, stop. Ah, fucking hell. That corner, man. That corner every time. I say, and a lot of the stuff I read, I... I don't even know if it's shoujo or uh, shonen or anything like that. But and like I said, most of the stuff, I just look up rom-com um, manga. Read that. And then, like, if I, if I'm not reading something rom com, it's usually just a shonen jump manga, like One Piece, and whatnot. I don't branch out much. I guess the only thing, like, other than that, I, I love sports manga too. I hate sports. I think they're extremely boring to watch, but I absolutely love sports manga. So I don't know how, I'm a person that uh, never watches sports in her life, and I have no desire to be in a relationship. But my two favorite type of manga are rom-com and sports. Oh yeah, absolutely they can be. Um, but there's some out there that are just insanely good. Oh, there was two sports anime this season? I said I haven't watched anime forever, so I'm not keeping track of what's even coming out. <clears throat> turn, damn it! Turn! Oh, there's four, wow. One is awful. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to think of the last anime I even watched. They like said it's been a long time. Is it Studio? I've never even heard of it. I 
I say the, um, like, it kills me because some of the, like, one of the most popular, I'd say, sports manga, anime, is, uh, Kuroko no Basket, and that just looks fucking horrible to me. Because, like, they got such, like, goofy shit, because I remember watching a YouTube video of, um, like, top ten greatest moments or something like that in the anime, and at one point, like, they got, when they eyes like light up and they got like lightning flying out of them and shit like that but at one point in time this guy just jumps up and does like a half court shot and sinks it I'm like okay run with the wind Uh, yeah, I definitely need to stick with manual. Semi-automatic just got no fucking speed to it. Yeah, college age anime. I, I pretty much like anything and everything. If it's good, it's good. That's how I look at it. I, I don't restrict myself to anything. I'll give everything a shot. The worst thing, though, is... Um, okay, I'm in first. I didn't know if one of those cars was the first place or not. The worst thing is I feel like there's very few um, college age shit. Most of it's high school. Because, I mean, that's their demographic, you know, it's high school, middle school. The, the thing I hate the absolute most about manga and anime is um, there's a funny YouTube video I saw. Actually, no, I think it was like a, a just a little gif somebody made of guess at the character's age. And they gave like a brief description. And then the guy had to guess their age. And stuff like that, like, it, it kills me because there's some manga out there and some anime out there where, like, they look really, really young, but they're, like, 72. Or they look really, really old, but they're in elementary school. It's like, dude, what the fuck? It's the weirdest medium when it comes to making a character look like their age. Because even if they have, like, a character who's, like, just really, really short, they also gotta make them, like, dress like a little kid and stuff, too and act like a little kid, and so everybody's like, oh man, they're obviously, you know, in elementary school, and they're like 30-something, it's like, what the fuck? Haikyuu is a good one. Um, I just... I just hate ongoing manga and anime, because I hate waiting. So that's, I mean, I at the moment, I'm reading, uh, sports-wise, I got, I think, four ongoing ones. Like, there's Haikyuu, uh, Hajime no Ippo, which I'm still, like... I'm still just curious what's going to happen with Hajime no Ippo. Um, Days, which Days hasn't had an update forever. Um, and... Karate show something something I can't remember it's the longest name but uh the karate manga college age and older characters are the best we can only change tires fuck I'm okay with waiting too I just I just really hate it and it's weird too because like it seems like most people want to uh read ongoing stuff. So like, it's funny to me because I'll see people actually want recommendations of only ongoing manga. And like that's so foreign to me that people are restricting themselves to like only ongoing manga. Yeah, mid a lot of middle school stuff is a lot of tropes, 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 but... I mean, I have no problem with tropes as long as it works well. Because a lot of uh, shit just crams horrible tropes down your throat. And it's like, yeah, I'm good. But at the same time, I feel like there's a lot of popular shit out there that I feel just crams horrible tropes down your throat. It's still popular.
Like, I think my least favorite thing of like, because like I said, I like rom coms, and I'll read some rom joms here and there too. And the worst thing about anything in the romance category is um, whenever they try to keep the characters apart constantly. Like every like two seconds, like uh, when they start, like they both like each other, but there's just something keeping them apart. And then they start getting slightly closer to being in a relationship, and then some random character enters for no reason whatsoever, just to, except for keeping them apart just a little bit longer. Like that trope drives me fucking insane. I hate that so much. When it's just random character after random character appears on screen, or like. Uh, cause I remember reading Good Ending, which I dropped that, like a bad habit, I hated it, but uh, they were getting closer and closer, and then like, one of the, the girl that he liked before the main character girl, um, she was sick or whatever, he was sick, I can't remember, but one of them was lying in bed, and the other one was at their side, and then like, they were just being nice to each other pretty much, and then like, the girl, he, you know, the main character girl saw that. So that was the reason why they didn't get together. Because she's like, oh, well, you still have feelings for her. So I was like, oh, God. I wanted to kick somebody. Because there's a lot of romance manga that just go on for way too long. Because they just drag it out by constantly bringing up some new bullshit reasoning why they can't be together. That's like uh, Kimi no Irumachi. Worst fucking thing I've ever read in my life. I dropped that as well. Because it does the same thing. Just every two seconds they introduce some new reasoning as to why they can't be together. Like, I have no problem with, like, real-life shit happening. But it's just... When it gets to just a ridiculous point where it's like every two seconds somebody just magically appears out of nowhere to stop them from entering into a relationship. And it's never like they appear and like actually just flat out say, hey, you can enter to enter a relationship with this person. It's always they show up and it's like, oh, well, this is my ex-boyfriend from when I was two years old and I forgot that I was completely in love with him. So we're going to have to deal with this arc for a little bit until we can kind of get back on track. And then at that point in time, you can have your cousin that you, you know, that loves you appear, and then you can have mixed feelings for a while. And it's like, Jesus. Monaco. Dry. I'm trying to decide if I want to go back to manual or not. Fuck it, we're doing full manual. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, I have no idea. I, hold on, I'm gonna Google these real quick. Oh, okay, uh, Wotako... Wotakoi? That's actually one that I've been, like, wanting to read for a long time now, but it's ongoing, so I just refuse to read it. I actually have, like, it downloaded on my tablet, because that's what I read uh, manga on. Like, every night while I'm going to sleep, I read manga. And uh, I've had it sitting on my tablet forever now. I'm just like, now. <laughs> now, I'll get around to it eventually. Shit, I forgot it was manual. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been an ongoing one for a long time. It's like, uh, is it Hori Mia or whatever? I'm trying to think of the name of it. A uh, really popular rom-com, and, uh, I enjoyed that, but it just, out of nowhere, like, it's just stopped getting updates. Ooh, 
Oh shit! Oh shit! This cave. Or at least, okay. It's just, it's been a long time since I've even actually even looked for updates, but every time I seem to look, it's like, just nothing, so... And that's one thing that really sucks about being a huge fan of, uh, rom-coms and stuff like that. A lot of the magazines that they, uh, that have rom-coms and shit are monthly and bi-monthly and shit like that. Yeah, manual seems to be exactly the same as uh, semi-automatic. Just one extra gear, which means you get like more speed. But like you have to do just as much work as semi-automatic. Like I'm still having to downshift, upshift, all that. And it's not like it's not showing me when to do that. I couldn't even get into the pit because that fucking, it was a, it was on a right turn, <clears throat> you had to turn right into the fucking wall to pit. What kind of bullshit pit stop is that? Oh my tires are fucked man. I can never tell when I downshift because I can't really see the number because I'm fucking paying attention to the screen. That's so hard to pit right here. And it kills me too because downshifting I have to hit or up shifting I have to hit down. Down shifting I have to hit up. How did, like, it always kills me with uh, games like this where it's so easy to accidentally hit a, you know, downshift or upshift. What, what were they thinking when they made, like, the D-pad all four buttons? Did they think people actually specifically hit just a direction and they didn't, like, roll their thumb around the D-pad? I mean, there's not really a whole lot of options that they have, but when you roll your D-pad from right to left, more than likely you're hitting up or down as well. Yeah, I got first. Oh my god, did I get first. <laughs> Holy shit. I think the last rom-com that I uh, finished that I really, really enjoyed was um, what was it called? It had life in it, right? I'm pretty sure it's like 
I want to call it Second Life, but I'm pretty sure that's the video game I'm thinking of. So that one's really good. I enjoyed that. And it's funny too, because like when I started reading, it was still ongoing, and I actually managed to finish like right as I got to the very end. So it finished like exactly on time for me. Turn, damn it, turn! Yeah, ongoing doesn't bother me as long as there's a lot of a lot of material, but I just like burn through the material so quickly. And if I enjoy it, it's like, man, I want more so bad. And just knowing that it's gonna be a long time before I get any, so it kind of sucks. That's why I like uh, finished stuff, which I usually hate the ending to most things. Like, usually I feel like the ending to manga and movies and stuff like that is like a giant letdown. So I don't know why I'm a huge fan of always having an ending to something. But, uh, yeah, I just, not a huge fan of ongoing stuff. I mean, like I said, I'll read it, but I'd rather, if I got the pick, between ongoing and finished, obviously I'd go with finished. There's some here and there, but I feel like there's also like I've also come across just a bunch of bad endings too. Uh, some here and there. Son of a. Bitch, you stupid fucker, learn to drive. Okay, that was my fault, dude. I, I need to learn to drive. That was 100% my fault. That one was kind of both of our faults. I blame you mainly, because if I didn't blame you, then I have to blame myself. I don't feel like doing that. I just took the blame for the last turn. I love how I'm lapping pretty much everybody right here. Look at this. I'm pretty sure this was 16 cars, wasn't it? I started that turn way too early. <clears throat> I can't pit! Again, this is so stupid. I'm trying to fucking pit and it won't let me. Because you are in the middle of a right turn. So to pit, you pretty much have to slam on your brakes and just hold right to be able to get into the pit. What? That makes no sense. Like every pit stop ever is on a straightaway. Like you're telling me it couldn't be here.
Fuck, put it in the goddamn tunnel for all I care. Just somewhere I can actually reach it. Hey guys. Glad to see I'm laughing at everybody again. Fuck you. Alright, thanks for hitting me. That actually worked out. There we go. That actually worked out that I bumped right into that guy. Easy pit. That's how I need a pit from now on. Just have a car in front of me I can bunk into. I say I'm part of the team, so whoever my teammate is, I need him to just sit here so I can bounce off of him into the pit. Fuck you, why did you go out that wide? Okay, that was my fault. Oh shit. How are you guys always here? I don't get it. Yeah, <laughs> you love the noise, right? It's terrific. Damn it, I needed a pit again. How are you guys always here? Like, are you guys even moving? Have you guys noticed that? Every single time I get to this area, that's where every single fucking car is. So this section is so much more annoying because I gotta avoid every single car. So I was hoping this would be a kind of short game, so like, 
kind of scary because uh, it's got like the four races and I gotta do I gotta qualify and all. So I'm kind of curious if this is the end or if it like just puts me in another league. Because I need to go shopping. So I'm really hoping this would be a shortish game. Because I am like pretty much plum out of food. Turn, 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 turn! Fuck me! Took that turn way too soon. Now my wings busted too. Awesome. So I definitely need to poop. And this is the next to last lap too. I'm gonna pit just for the last lap. Nope, guess I'm not pitting. Dude, this game is so stupid. You know what we should do? Put the pit right here where they can't fucking reach it. Brilliant! Fucking brilliant! Like, you can't reach that fucking pit. Like, you have to know it's coming, and then just slam on your fucking brakes. And then just go, like, two miles per hour around that turn. Because if you're on a turn, and you hold the direction it's telling you to turn, the turn's going, it just pretty much does this. So it's hard to actually get your vehicle to move over. I mean, we should be fine, but I'm under the pit because my tires are just toast. Good thing is I didn't see all the cars this time around. That means I'll probably see him somewhere later. Right here. You fucking prick. Yep, that's not good. If we have a password, then uh, we have more to play. Races left. Four. Yep. Qualifying complete. All races be in the top six. 